Okay, someone call me ma'am and make it into say. Right? So, you, 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 you come from a, an age now when you are so incompetent as photographers. In our time, you have to take one and be careful to take another two because of the printing. Now with digital and all the corrections, you still take 40, 50 pictures, you're hopeless. Chalo. <laughs> Are you? Sir, yes. Bolo, bolo. You like this bright light? It's not disturbing you. Sorry. Sorry? Very good to see you, sir. It's an honor to be in front of you doing an interview. The biggest question, you know, it comes to my head. What was, what is the reason you said yes to the film, the answer, and how this project happened? Um, the project happened, somebody phoned me and said, would you like to work in this film on, on Paramahansa Yogananda? And uh, they, the, the person who's written the book, the answer feels that, you know, you might be uh, good for the role. So I said, um, sure, I'll go and talk to them. And when I met them, I find, found they were very friendly, loving, kind people, very enthusiastic about making a film about their Guruji. And, uh, so it was easy, and I, I have a lot of respect for uh, Mr. Pavan Kaur, the director. Uh, Kavita is a lovely, uh, charming producer. And uh, between them, the whole package was very attractive. And uh, I said yes, and it, it meant my going to meet some new people, meet, uh, and not just meet people, but get introduced to a new uh, sort of thinking. And, and, uh, and that's always fascinating because one, one gets bored with, with the mundane in life when you have something that's, that's different, different intellectually. It's very uh, uh, provocative. So it was easy to, to grab the opportunity. So what are the, the director brief and what's... Should I? Yeah. What are the director brief and what is your input? You know, you, you play Yogan and Ji, uh, what is your input? This is, what, this is the way I want to portray this director. The way he walks, the way he talks, the way he views the life. You see, um, in, in, in Bengal, I, uh, you have a thing called Jatra, okay? You have uh, mobile theater in Assam. You have, you know, there's a, these mobile players that go from village to village and like a Ramlila. Uh, I would like the audience to, to look at the answer as if they're watching a Ramlila, not to judge uh, a performance or whether my interpretation of uh, Paramahansa Yogananda is good or bad, but to look at the whole experience of, of this, this uh, you know, 108 minutes, it's, it's, it's almost a miracle, in fact. You know, you dial 108, you get an ambulance, you, and you have 108 minutes, and you get this film. It was just a coincidence. It wasn't a, I mean, I asked the director, I said, is this an uh, uh, accident, or did you? He said, absolute accident. When we finished the film, it was 108 minutes. Very auspicious number. So, um, I want you to, I didn't give this role an interpretation. It's very difficult for a person to, to interpret a, an actor. All gurus are, have to act. They have to put on an act. And for an actor to be an actor, to put on an act, becomes a whole, you know, a, a, not, 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 it's a khichdi mixed with a pongal. You know, it's completely, and then you have sambar on the side, and you're finished with your coconut chutney. So, just relax. Don't, just look at this film as a great experience, and you will experience a thought. Paramahansa uh, Yogananth tried to give you that thought of peace. You know, that, that, that in the, in the, hatred is, is like, a, like a cloud that comes in the sky. But the sky itself is blue and in love, full of love. So the clouds will pass. So let the hatred come and go, it, they will move. Eventually all that will remain is love in this eternal sky. And that is the message of this film, I hope. Okay, uh, you know, during, during the course of making, though you being a very important part of the film, being a spiritual, you started connecting to the God, you know, the way you have portrayed the character. I've seen the trailer. It, look, it looks in a so real space. Uh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. No, I, I in, in, no matter what I do, uh, I try and, uh, and think and, and, and work very hard. I'm a very committed actor. I'm a very nervous actor. I, 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 I never feel confident as, a, as an actor. I have a tremendous amount of faith and respect in my director. And I believe that as long as he's committed, uh, that uh, he will, uh, uh, I will be able to deliver the right, the right goods. And I do a lot of thinking, yes. I spend hours and hours thinking. I spent, uh, I'm not a meditator or a yogi or anything like that, but I spent hours meditating in, in, in Paramahansa uh, uh, Yogan's ashram in, his, in, the, in the room where he used to meditate. 
So uh, my meditation is what? I cannot meditate, so I should just sit there and think and let my mind wander and look at all the pictures and look at all the images and begin to think how, you know, how this person must have felt. It, was, it helped a little bit that he was a Bengali. So, you know, you know I'm also a, 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 a Bengali, so there has to be something like Roshogullas that we had in common, you know, that we would love to, you know. Uh, so, but it, it, um, it's, it's, I, I didn't really think about putting in a, a performance because I cannot, you know, it's not that kind of a film. I just have to do what comes naturally and, uh, and do it with some professionalism. And, and, and thought, that's all. I hope you take it on a very positive note, you know, whenever a, a filmmaker comes with a, with a film where a crew involved or a particular religion involved, you know, there, there are so-called, you know, people from the society, from political party, or who come to them and say, this is what you have done wrong. Uh, While uh, working on the film, are you, uh, are, you, uh, are you a little scared about it, apprehensive yeah, about it, no, that this is no. going to happen? I am, here in India, you, yeah. you have seen so many examples. Yeah, I am millions, millions, and I, and I object to them all. I think there is a, you know, no matter how bad your film is or how good your film is, you have a freedom of expression and a right to express that, that you know, that freedom. Um, and then when you misuse that freedom, you misuse it and then we laugh at you or <laughs> we get angry and you, you do justice to it and we applaud you and we say shabash. But no, I, 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 I'm, it, it doesn't bother me. The only thing that bothered me about, about the answer is uh, there are about 6,000 people who intimately know uh, Farman's Yogananda because they meditate on him every single day for hours. When I got the, you know, the, the, the namaskar and the, the applause from them worldwide in Los Angeles, in SCC, in Italy, and in, you know, just the devotees, I said, Bas mera kaam khatam. that's it. If I have been able to convey their, their guru with respect so that they, they are happy with my performance, I have achieved everything I need. I don't care what the audience thinks or what the press thinks. Okay, and I've just seen the trailer of yours, and it also reminds me of there's a very similarity in terms of the look appearance. You know, have you have you done some sort of uh, you know look test because it also reminds me of Swami Vivekananda, the moment I saw Parmananda. Um, if I showed you some stills uh, today in Argentina, um, a film called Thinking of Him is releasing, where I play Rabindranath Tagore. If I show you stills of that and me as Rabindranath Tagore, you'd be quite astonished and stunned. I look exactly like Rabindranath Tagore. So I, maybe I have a face that is adaptable, made of plasticine. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. but will be your, you know, I, I don't think this question to be raised to you, but still want to know, who will be the target audience and where, you know, instead of doing, doing a commercial release, where the, I don't know whether it is already gone to the film festival or not, are you planning or the, or the makers are planning to send the film to the festival? Of the answer? Yeah. The answer, I think the poster itself says it's got something like 17 awards, it's gone to 48, uh, um, 48 nominations and, and to how many, um, you know, s several, several um, festivals. It's been acclaimed worldwide by uh, festival authorities with no backing at all. And it's got awards also. I think 47, more than 45 awards it's won. I think so. I don't remember the exact figure. Do you, think, do, do you agree with it? It's a must break for Indian audience where, where the current scenario is very critical in India in terms of blood hatred. There's so many things happening, criminal rights. See, the, if you, a film is a film. I think people who see this film will be very fortunate because they will get a new experience. Uh, like I said, you know, there is too much hatred in this world today. There's too much, you know, uh, whether in, in, in love or in religion or in politics, we seem to dwell on hate. And, you know, and uh, I, I would like, I mean, since Parman's Yogananda was a, from Bengal originally, and I'm a Bengali, I'm hoping that this film will be shown in Bengal and more people will see it there than, than anywhere else and, and learn s some peace. We're a Vaishnav uh, people in Bengal and we, we've had more bloodshed uh, in, in elections than any other state. Why? You know, why should there be bloodshed in India? I don't think India is really, you know, uh, we're soft, kind-hearted people that have embraced all faiths from all over the world for centuries. Suddenly the whole thing has gone, you know, chopat and we, we don't know how to deal with it now. Let's go back to the fact that we are tolerant people. We are understanding people. We are loving, caring people who invite everybody, all outsiders, and to become our atiti, and then they become Deva Bhava. Absolutely. What is the last and most message you want to give to the audience? Why they come and be a part of Prabhu? Because the message of Paramahansa Yogananda needs to be spread. 
And this film is hopefully will be able to spread it. And it's one of peace and love. And how you live your day, not your past, not your future, should determine how you behave, but you, the moment. Enjoy the moment, enjoy life. Life is all about loving and enjoying it. Today, this moment, the minute you see this interview or when you see the film, love life for God's sake. Don't carry baggage of yesterday and don't think, you know, uh, stupidly about what you'll achieve tomorrow. Just live for today. Enjoy yourself. Anything I didn't ask in your position? Uh, no, sir. You did a good, very good job. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Really, before I'll ask you anything, uh, madam, let's introduce yourself. Let's, I want to know something about yourself. Uh, you? Yes, producer, I know about it, but still. Okay, should I start with my name? <laughs> I'm Kavita Oberoi Kol, and uh, of course I'm the producer of this film. Uh, well, I've been associated with the films in one way or the other since since I was a kid. Actually, I was a child actor, worked in a few films, and then um, uh, you know I didn't take it up totally as a profession because I I don't think I was mentally equipped <laughs> to be dealing with the um, what should one call the, uh, the demands of of you know this kind of a job but I was very interested in, in uh, every kind of behind the scenes activity I've written I've uh, produced uh, serials I've um, uh, written actually a film called Jadu which was Shah Rukh Khan and Ravina Tandon didn't get released the way it was but so yes and then when I had almost kind of given up and uh, this kind of profession going more internal and you know uh, meditation and all of that and uh, this film came about because of Swami Kriyananda and he had given me the script in 2011. And uh, the honesty of the script, the, the whole purpose of why he wrote this movie, you know, uh, it struck with me uh, a chord, you know. And then uh, the, the production of this came up, and uh, well, that's how this whole thing went on. Okay, Mohanji, filmmaking is a very serious business. That she said in this life. The casting plays a very important part. Whiskers Hub doesn't need anything. Uh, well, it actually. Actually, uh, Swami Kriyananda uh, uh, gave her the cue that he wanted a Bengali at any cost to play the role of Paramansa. And uh, it was Kavita's idea that, uh, I mean, she suddenly thought of uh, Victor Banerjee. Uh, when she thought Bengali actor and a good actor, so his face appeared before her, and uh, that's, that's how he was cast. Yeah, it, it was actually quite a miracle, if you ask me, because Victor uh, is a huge name. You know, he's an international star. To even aspire for him to be in your film was something. But um, the strange thing was that uh, I, many many years ago, I don't even think Victor knows about this. Many, many years ago, somebody had given me Victor's email. And it struck with me, this must have been about 10 years ago. It struck with me because it was a, <laughs> the beginning was crazy old wick at whatever. And it, it stayed in my head. So I said, well, I'll write to him. You know, he can't kill me over a mail. <laughs> so let me see. So I introduced the film, I introduced the character, and I wrote to Victor hoping I'll get a reply, but not too sure. But like I said, the miracle, and Victor replied within a day, and he, uh, he so graciously came on. It was the best thing I thought could, that could have happened for this character of Paramahansa Yogananda. And he met with Swamiji, so everything within a week, between February 2nd to February 9th, we had Victor on board. We had started our first, taken our first shot. He had met, met with Swamiji, and we were on our way. Also, why the title is The Answer? How will the current scenario in India across the globe, you know, the mankind is facing hatred everywhere, you know, there's the criminal rights, there's so many things that happen, you can just go. Why does the title is answer? Well, uh, first of all, of course, it's the title that Swamiji chose uh, to call his script. And uh, the fact of the script is that as you watch the film, uh, you know, everybody today in today's world and today's life is uh, faced by many questions and, uh, you know, everyone's asked, looking for answers. There is actually, uh, uh, it's a fact that when you watch the film, it has answers for almost everybody and for all sorts of, uh, you know, issues that exist today in the world. So it's a very apt title. Okay, do you, do you think half the budget is gone, the film is already worth so many awards? 
No, they see the film, uh, the battle is never won. It's not a battle, first of all. It's, it's about getting uh, something across uh, to people. And uh, uh, I think uh, uh, that, that is something the film is trying to achieve for its life, you know. So it's never over till it's really over, you know. So film maybe uh, may reach somebody 20 years uh, later also. So it just goes on. It's never an end. It's, you know, films basically, as they say, uh, they're usually abandoned. It's never over, you know. So it's we who say, okay, abhi khatam ho gaya. It's, it's done, you know, but it's never done. Okay, is Vidya the director's, director's action? He is a director's dream, absolutely, absolute dream. And uh, I, of course, was, um, I never met him before. This is the first time I met him, and uh, I didn't know how he would respond to me. I mean, he's worked with legends like uh, David Lean and Polanski and whatnot. And, uh, and uh, I was very, very pleasantly surprised when he said that, look, I'm a director's actor, and I'm uh, happy to uh, just do as I'm instructed. And I thought that was just a kind of opening line. But it really happened throughout the shooting. I never had, uh, basically, there was very little that I had to tell him. So obviously he knew what he was doing. Uh, but even the couple of incidents where I had to maybe approach him with uh, a suggestion, he accepted it unconditionally without even asking me a question as to why, you know, you want me to do it this way and not that way. So director's dream, absolute dream. You're making correct me if I'm wrong, wrong, wrong somewhere, you know. The film is in English. Do you think you'll be meeting Hindi audience? And if it is dubbed, are you in process for doing so? Um, yes, that's always been in the mind. Uh, we have to reach across to all cross sections of India. It was uh, Paramansa Yogananda's dream always to come back to India and establish his mission here again because he stayed most of his life abroad. And Swami Kriyananda did come back and founded the Ananda communities. So yes, I think definitely this film will be subtitled or dubbed in various uh, regional languages and one is looking forward to doing it, most certainly, yes. Well, I think that, uh, you know, if we look around us today, the world is torn with strife and grief. And uh, whether we know it or not, we are all seekers. We think we are seeking fame and happiness and success, but actually we're looking for, for the answer which resounds with our core, which we may have forgotten. And uh, whatever else we're seeking outside, it leaves a void within. I think a film like this, which is not preachy, we're not, you know, it's not didactic. It's not telling you, okay, now you go home and nothing. It is simply the journey of one man whose journey began as a kid, but his journey within. And within his journey lies our answer. Uh, because we will relate so much to all his doubts and queries and uh, everything that he faced. So vicariously through his life, we will get the answers to our questions as well. That, I think, is the main purpose of this film, is connecting ourselves to our real inner self. Well, I, I always feel that uh, uh, the last thing one should try to do is give a message in a film. You know, it's not, that's not what the medium is meant for. Uh, the f medium of film is meant to share an experience. And this film, first and foremost, shares the experience of Swami Kriyananda and his relationship with his guru. So what it is to find a guru, to receive the love of a guru, the guidance of a guru, this is what the film is all about. And uh, hopefully the experience that you will gain from this film is uh, one of uh, universal love you know, and uh, how life should be lived. But it's not a message. It's an experience that you pass through, and hopefully it will transform you or transform many lives, you know, because that is the actual intention of the film. In fact, these were the words, uh, same words that Rajnikant Ji said yesterday in his interview, that this film is an experience and a very moving experience. And I think uh, if I may just add a word here, that uh, this, is, this has been our, uh, uh, our experience throughout our festival run that more than expected, you know, we got 48 laurels, 17 awards, 
from 26 international festivals. And this was completely unexpected because, you know, spiritual festival going to mainstream commercial cinema and getting awards is not an everyday affair. And if I may say so, I don't know, you have your research better done, but I think this is the first movie in India to have won 48 laurels. And uh, it is a spiritual film, to, so to say, but I think we've broken that, gla that glass ceiling which says, you know, spiritual films cannot be technically proficient or productionally so uh, vibrant or have such great performances and uh, touch people in a particular way. So I think it's a miracle. Thank you.